Hello everybody, Glass Half Dead here, and today I want to talk about the short, the ugly, and their clones. Who could that be? Was I the mould for them? It's Kill Team Rumours, we're talking about the Leagues of Votan. So the Leagues of Votan just dropped, uh, GW gave me uh, uh, the army box, so thank you to them, but this video actually has nothing to do with that. This video has something to do with what people have already seen, perhaps if you're into the Leagues, and I just wanted to finally address them because we also now have the piece of the puzzle that we need to be able to talk about them. Let's bring up what people have seen, why they think that means that there is going to be a kill team of Leagues of Votan coming to kill team. But then I'm going to tell you why they're wrong. But then I'm going to tell you why there probably is one coming. Basically, we're in a kind of even a broken clock is right twice a day sort of situation. So let's just get into it, shall we? Minor note, if you're just hyped for Leagues of Votan, if you're interested in that in general, check out my other channel, Full Scale Wargaming, where I do uh, just a bunch of size comparisons. Uh, and, you know, if you want to see what the models are like, they're on 28mm bases uh, and 40s and 90mm ovals. I talk about them properly over there, and there's more about the Votan coming on that channel, not this channel. Let's look at Kill Team. Here we have the original perpetrator. We saw this, uh, some have seen it. If you're seeing it for the first time, some have seen it and this led them to believe, just because it is a very long data sheet, that this means, this is proof that there is going to be a Leagues of Votan kill team. I'm here to firstly kind of steel man their argument a little bit. So we've seen a similar thing when it comes to the Corsairs in the Craft World Codex and more specifically, I think, the Commandos in the Orc Codex. These are obviously two teams that were, I think, relatively well designed for kill team. And so to then put those teams, uh, those kill team teams, into a regular squad in 40k, you ended up with a very long data sheet that really doesn't actually mesh with the 40k game particularly well. So I just wanted to come down and kind of break down this 40k sheet that we're seeing here and tell you why I don't think anything here suggests at all that there's going to be a kill team coming. Now, the first thing to look at are the war gear options, okay? That's what people look at. You look at that and you think, okay, something, that's, that's so many options, there's probably a kill team. That's exactly what we saw with Commandos uh, and a very similar thing to what we saw with the Corsairs. However, not quite the same. So with the Commandos, what you had was, it was like nine lines of every, one model can take X, one model can take Y, one model, you get it. This isn't saying that. To very quickly summarize what it's saying here, it's saying if you take 10 models, you could take two gunners. If you take 20 models, you could take two more gunners. And then it's giving you sergeant options, it's just saying your sergeant can take um, a, a pistol and a close combat weapon. It's also saying the entire squad can either take bolters or beamers. It is then also saying <laughs> One model can either take a medipack, uh, a comms thing, or a scanner thing. And that, okay, now I realise that was still quite a few options. This isn't actually that many things. The uh, GW just has a very verbose way of wording everything in the most just litigious way possible, right? So that's all that's saying. It's not saying uh, like the commandos. This guy can take one thing. This guy can take another. This guy can take a third. This guy takes a bird. That guy takes a squig, etc. So with all of that said, I genuinely don't I genuinely don't think that this data sheet suggests in any way, like any more than any other data sheet, that we would be getting a kill team. For example, I don't think that the Hearthkin Warriors data sheet says this is a kill team any more than any of the other data sheets, either for the Exo Armor dudes or the Chthonian Berserks or anything like that. They all have options. Yes, these have a few more but not that many more, and the only thing that's making people think, oh, this is the kill team, is because of the two big bullet points there that say you can take either this gun or this gun. If you removed that, if you removed the big block saying you, if you take 10 models, you could take two guns, if you take 20 models, you could take two more guns, if you remove those, 
this is actually then a much smaller data sheet and doesn't look, it doesn't even resemble the commandos data sheet. So with that said, why do I, independently of this, think that we're actually still going to be getting a kill team? Because now I'm recording this at 9 a.m. on Saturday. And that means that on the, uh, what is it, the, the Australian GW website, they have released the sprues. How about that? Uh, now, I've actually already made my, my little guys. We can, we can look at some of them here. Don't they look delightful? Yes, they do. I went with a lovely color scheme, didn't I? Delightful. Uh, but I forgot to take any usable pictures of sprues. Here are the sprues. These are on the GW website right now. What are we seeing here? What are we seeing? Okay. Let's have a quick breakdown. We have the guns. We have the war gear options. Cool. It's fine. There are, there are the usual accoutrements. Okay. We have some little belt pouches. We have some grenades. Fine. We also have what I think would become equipment, which if I look around a little bit, here we go. Uh, this thing here, you see this thing here and this thing here, these are a mining, a mining pick and um, an ax of some sort that goes, that sticks to the backpack. They're, they are the weapon or the tool in a sheath. That's pretty similar to equipment. That's something that we've seen, for example, with Krieg, where they got shovels. But that doesn't mean, you know, that doesn't mean anything. That's just, I'm starting to lean into the idea. We also have a hand holding a grenade. Now look, that doesn't have to mean anything. And certainly in the build instructions for this team, you never get told to build a model with a grenade. There are obviously some things here that are going to require zero effort to become the kill team operative. And that's the super interesting thing. We might legitimately get, no longer will we, would normally we get the existing sprues and then we get an expansion sprue on top and that's the kill team. This could be the first kill team where the expansion sprue is baked into the sprue for 40k. And the reason I say that is this here. You see uh, this knife and this knife. At no point when building the... This, this is the whole crux of it, to be clear. If you've, if you've hung around for this long and you're getting bored, you're here now. This is, this is my argument. So... This knife, this knife, this axe, these two uh, pistols. You are never told in the build instructions to use any of these bits. You also, they also don't have, they aren't on the data sheet. Uh, the pit, technically, you do get the bolt pistol things, ignore those. The two knives and the axe, those aren't legal loadouts. Now, they might just be flavorful models, right? but you're never told to use them in the build instructions and they don't have any rules on the data sheet. And so, yes, because of that, because of the lack of being told to put them on any model, on any variant of the model, uh, and them not actually having a rule, I do believe that these three pieces, less so the grenade, because we've, because we've seen that before and it's not a rule, uh, less so the bolt pistols, but these th two knives and one axe because of them i do think that what we have with the leagues of votan hearthkin warriors are an expansion sprue already built onto the main 40k sprue i've got to be honest i would be shocked if we don't get the hearthkin warrior kill team now it's possible that they aren't the Leagues of Votan kill team. Maybe we will get two. Maybe we'll get one in a White Dwarf, which will be kind of their White Dwarf version, which I think would then just be this sprue. Maybe we get another one, because we've, you know, we've all heard the rumours, we, we, we've all heard the rumours from other people uh, about them coming in one of the, uh, the Gallo Dark boxes. And there you go, that's it. So, ultimately, yes, I think that people are correct, we're going to get a Hearthkin Warrior Squad, but I don't think it's because of this data sheet at all. There you go. I think it's the lack of build instructions uh, and 40k rules for what we see on the sprue.
Finally, just for fun, let's play a game together, okay? <laughs> There's no point in this. You, my informational part of the video is done. If you want to hang around, let's play a game. I took a picture of something. Let's see how many turns of my mouse wheel it takes you to guess what it is. Let's bring it up on the screen. Okay, this is it. Okay, yeah, I've selected it. All right, let's go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna click my mouse wheel. We're gonna see how many turns it takes for you to guess what we're looking at. We've got. Okay, I have to have all right. One. Two. Three, four, five. Okay, good place to stop. We do we see what we're looking at? That's five clicks of the wheel. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, okay. Now I know what we're looking at, but do you have? Is this? Do you know what this is? Now look. Okay, you might have guessed a generic thing. But we, we're looking for a specific, okay? That's 10 clicks. Have you figured out what this is? Pause the video, drop a guess. Drop a guess at 10 clicks what you think this is. Restart the video, edit your comment later. Okay, that's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 okay okay now i think yeah oh, this is i th i think you you know i think we're seeing what this is i think 15 a lot of people would have just guessed what this is okay all right let's keep going for those that haven't guessed let's go 16 17 18 19, 20. Okay, so I suspect by 20, 90% of people have guessed. If you, if you haven't, go back, edit your comment. 20 clicks, what do you think this is? We're, we're going to speed run the, the next five clicks, and I think we'll all have it if we haven't got it by now. So we we'll go 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. I mean... You get it right. And let's go all the way out. There you go. There you go. I just thought it was cool how how close I could zoom in. There you go. That that's the only reason I did that. Like I could have done it into uh into the the thane. Maybe that would have been harder. You know? There you go. What are we looking at here? What are we look at this zoom? How crazy. Uh anyway, right. Did you guess? Congratulations, well done. Congratulations, you don't win anything. That was just a bit of fun, just a bit of fun. I just noticed that my iPhone camera picture can zoom quite far. Nice. Guys, this has been the Leagues of Votan, Kill Team Rumor Chat. Obviously, I have no idea what's actually coming. I hope some Leagues of Votan, uh, you know, the rumors from what we hear here from other, other channels that talk of such things, seems, Seems like we're getting them. We don't know exactly when, but soonish, ish, you know. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. And as you can tell, the fact that I've actually done some hobby on them inevitably does mean I'm hyped for them. I even went over here. This is uh, my my code, my code, my codex, you know. And I've done something crazy. I've read the entire codex because, guys, it's a brand new faction, and. Part of me thought a brand new faction that GW is doesn't have any legacy issues with. They don't have to keep in anything they don't want to keep into this faction. They can say anything. They can do anything they want. Let's see what they truly think about the world, about their world. About is it satire? Is it, you know, poking fun at, at uh, the, the English government? Is it, you know, what is it to them now? What is it? Because they have a blank slate with the leagues of Votan to do what they truly believe 40k is. So anyway, I, I went through and I, I read the whole law of, in, you know, in the codex and um, want to 
yeah, I'll make some videos about that on, on my other channel on Full Scale Wargaming. Just I think that's quite interesting. Uh, yeah, there you go. And so basically every post-it note there is a, is a lore short that I'm going to make. Uh, so go check that out if you're interested in that. Otherwise, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, you know, nice low energy, chilled out video on a, on a Saturday morning. Guys, I'm absolutely starving, so I'm going to go and eat food. Um, stay healthy, guys. Uh, we'll talk about Leagues of Votan more soon, I hope. Anyway, uh, I hope you've had a good day and continue to have a good day. Goodbye.